Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and part two of my pocket notebook setup videos. If you haven't seen part one, that was where I set up this beautiful little Chic Sparrow notebook. It's the Austin leather in the colour Emma and I've set it up to be a coloured pencil sketchbook. So the key insert in here is this Stillman and Burn. I think it's called Nova and it's in the beige colour paper and I think that's going to be lovely for colour pencils and I will show you how I get on with this one at a later point once I've used it and it's sort of started to wear in and all the rest of it so that one's lovely now this one I also mentioned because I have a Stillman and Burn notebook in here as well but this one has white paper which I'm not as keen on for colour pencil I did try it I did a little bit of colour pencil there and then I tried it with um, watercolour and it's not fantastic for watercolour but it's okay for watercolour sketches so I'm going to keep this one for watercolour sketches I think rather than colour pencil so if I want to grab that one I can and notice this has got a really slim profile this tea, this cover which is a folio cover which was a custom order from Ink Bandits on Etsy I will Put a link down below in case any of you are interested it's beautifully made and it's got this lovely slim profile that you can just stick in a pocket this one's slightly chunkier because i've stuffed it but i could take these two out and it would be a slim profile like this one and who knows i may end up doing that i'm pretty i'm already starting to think that i don't know if i want this would it be better without this let's have a look Yeah, it would be much better without this. I'm going to take this one out. I don't have to have it and my setup still looks nice. I might need to tighten my elastics. Or I could just put, if I take the one without the knot, I could just put that one around the cover of this book and that will help it sit in better and flip better. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one like that and I will put this one back in here. Okay, so that's those two. And so what I'm going to do in today's video is set up this one. And what I thought I would use this one for is for ink swatching. I've already decorated the pockets in a previous setup and I love them. So I'm not going to change those. And in the back, I've just got a little writing board. In my pile here of inserts, I've got a couple of dashboards. I've got this little tiny teeny, <laughs> this teeny tiny, I think it's, I don't know what this size is called, it might be um, Nano, I'm not sure, it's really small anyway and it will just fit in the pocket here and this one I'm going to just use for ink swatches because it's Tomoe River paper and it's really small and I thought I could just do a swatch of the colour and write it underneath as I collect different ink colours so I'm going to use that as my little swatch book and then I have another Tamaria River paper insert here which I thought I would use for my sort of currently inked and writing samples with each of my inks as and when I buy them and I have a whole list of inks I want to try that were suggested to me by my viewers. I have a list of them and I'm going to try and get them in samples as much as possible so that I can see which ones I like and share them with you. And that will be a collation of doubling in journals viewers inks, which I thought would be really lovely. So I definitely want that one in here and I will give that one a dashboard. I just want to change the paper because I want to use my ballet paper that Emily gave to me. So that will be my first insert. And then I wanted to try one of these. And I got this as a little set of three. And these are onion skin paper. And let me find the one. And there's the one that has all the bits that the Etsy seller sent to me with them. So I'm hoping, yes, her name is Crafty Ali. So she's got the same name as me. Because <laughs> my name's Ali. So Crafty Ali on Etsy. Let's see. I will link the shop below. Etsy is yes, Crafty Alley Cat on Etsy. I'll I'll put the link below. And she sent all these little freebie bits with it. So that's obviously her business card. And 
this is a sort of another marketing type thing and then we've got a little yay card which is cute and some stickers oops there's another one there's another one and then she even sent some little pieces of the paper for ink tests and i've just written on there with my ink pen new onion skin paper and i did a little pencil sketch so that i could see how it came out so I thought that was really cool that she did that so I'm going to remove these and put these in my stash and I'm going to have one of these I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for yet but I want to put it in here so I don't forget about it and as I said it's onion skin paper so it is really thin and I thought it would be like the traveler's notebook super lightweight paper but it's much more textured the super lightweight paper from Traveller's Company is very smooth and this is textured but it's got the same crinkly sound. I'm really looking forward to trying this and seeing what it's like. So I want to put one of those in here so I thought I would give one of these a dashboard. Now this is a Foxy Fix dashboard and Foxy Fix sadly are no longer in business. This is just a little passport cover that I got from Amazon and it's slightly small obviously for the pocket size notebook but given there's a little bit of blue in the paper and we've got blue poking out I think I can get away with that okay so those two are going in here and then I have just a blank field notes notebook now these are no good for fountain pens but I'm just going to hold this in here because when I have finished the field notes notebook which i really love for graphite sketching by the way but ink bleeds through them the paper's no good for fountain pens so i really like them for graphite sketching so when this one's full up i can put this one which has my little drawing on the front that i did of a coffee girl and i can pop that one and it's also got a, a coffee girl thing in the back so it will go really well in here but i just want to finish up this one first so that I don't waste the paper so I'm just going to hold that in my ink swatch notebook so that I don't lose it forget to use it or whatever and then finally I bought a little Claire Fontaine notebook which is supposed to be really good for fountain pens so I haven't tried this paper so I'm going to put this one in here so that I can try this one for fountain pens so that is all the inserts that I'm planning to put in here now I don't have a cover for this one but that's fine because it's a lovely rustic-y beige colour and I don't have a cover for this one but it's already got little pockets on that I've decorated so I will pop that one in here in fact I might pop that one in my zipper pocket because this cover is a wide this is just a pocket sized notebook and it is a perfect pocket sized notebook as you can see it's really lovely I really love the size of this it's really nice and this one is a wide so I can stuff a lot more into this one as you can see I can stuff a lot more into this one than I can this one so that's a wide pocket from Medicaid leather and that's a standard pocket just so that you can see what you can fit in so all I want to do really now I think I'm going to leave that one as is because it goes really well with the blue notebook so I've only got one thing to do now to set up this notebook and that is to change this front cover I mean that looks nice with that so I just want to change this front cover I have a photograph of my granddaughter's look. So let me find my ballet paper. So this is the lovely pad from Stamperia that Emily sent to me. And I'm going to be choosing something from here. What am I going to choose? She's lovely. Should we have her? It's so nostalgic thinking of my daughter when she was younger dancing. She was just as beautiful and elegant as that. That's a lovely one as well, but I think I need a wider notebook for that one. So let's use her and then which paper? 
trouble with double-sided papers is you don't want to, <laughs> you want both sides don't you really like that oh but that's got her on the back you don't want to lose her hmm well, that one's just plain paper so i might use that one okay so let's cut out the paper the size that we need it I want it to be <clears throat> save that beautiful rose for something else three and a half by five and a quarter for pocket size and then I want to cut out my little ballerina right so i have cut out my little ballerina what side do i want her if i want her on this side now she needs something else i need to layer that up with something else i think perhaps a piece of plain paper what color i like what okay so i have this pad of paper which is from die cuts with a view obviously i got in a sale and this just has plain papers but they're kind of textured they look like linen and i'm wondering whether there's one that will go with my little pretty ballerina So what I want to do is, so that I can sort of layer this, is cut out like a little frame. I've got dog hair in there. Cut out a little frame. I, I'm struggling to, to move at the moment because my dog is right under my feet. <laughs> well, one of my dogs is. Right, so I want to cut it. Just eyeballing it. See if it works. Try that. Perfect. And so I want to cut this piece about four and a half, I think. And that just sort of stops it getting lost in the pattern below, I think. What do you think? I really like that. I think maybe it's too big though. I think I'll make it a little bit smaller. <laughs> Oops. So let's just take off a little bit from each side. little bit more off the top would have been quicker to measure wouldn't it there we go okay so I will be layering it like that and of course what am I going to do distress my edges <laughs> so I'll just do that and then I'll come back to you Okay, and I'm just going to glue those together and I only need a spot of glue because they're going to be in a dashboard. 
I will try and get it it's sort of roughly in the middle and then stick this one And now I'm going to pop it into my dashboard. And do you think that needs, I think that needs a frame. I could use the same paper, couldn't I? Let me just quickly make a frame for this photo in the same kind of way. So my photo is three by two, so let's do three and a half by two and a half. Just check. Hi, oh, see it's quicker if you measure. <laughs> Distressing with my distressing gathered twigs from Tim Holtz or Ranger. Oh, I'm just don't know why I'm distressing the photo. <laughs> I just did it automatically. Oops. And do the back of this one. And then this is a sticker photo. Of my granddaughters, looking very beautiful. got room to put something there and there if I want to I might put some more photographs we'll see so all I need to do now is pop my notebook in here oh I could decorate the front of this one couldn't I perhaps I'll do that another time because there's loads of spots I can decorate I can decorate the front of that and the back of that I can put something in those I could decorate the front of this one as well couldn't I that one's already done and that's a plain one. Hmm. I could put another ballet image there, couldn't I? Just trying to see what I've got left. However, my dogs are needing attention, so I'm going to have to come back to that. So I think I'll leave that little setup video here. So you'll be seeing this notebook again when I share my ink swatching and my writing, writing samples. So I've got a nice Tomoe River paper because this is quite an old notebook. I've had it some time and it doesn't seem to have any indication on it who made it. It may have been the Chelsea Paper Company. So I already have that in my stash and I think Tamara River Paper is lovely for fountain pens. So I'm going to enjoy doing my currently inked or writing samples or whatever in this little notebook. Haven't decided what I'm going to use the onion skin paper notebook for. So if you have any ideas on that, what would you use an onion skin notebook for? And let me know and then maybe I will use your idea. And then these are just, this one I'm just going to try the paper so I can write, use that for anything. And this one I'm just holding in here 
ready for when it's needed in my other notebook. So I have that ready to share with you in the future. My little pocket by Medigate Leather in the wide size. And I also have my little Sheik Sparrow in the standard pocket size. And I think they are both absolutely gorgeous. If I had to choose, I would find it really difficult. This one, I really, really love the pen loop. And this one, I really love the hand stitching. Sheik Sparrow use a type uh, typewriter. <laughs> They certainly can't make a notebook with a typewriter, can they? They use a sewing machine to edge their notebooks. And so you can, if I zoom in, I wonder if you'll be able to see, you can see the mark of the sewing machine and it's got a bit squished under the foot here. Whereas Medigate Leather, who is a UK traveller's notebook maker, he hand stitches it. So you don't get any marks from the machines and the stitching is absolutely perfect and gorgeous. But I don't like the, I don't like the pen loop. <laughs> and I really like the pen loop on the Sheik Sparrow. Although it may be what adds to the expense of it because I think, yeah, that's all one piece of leather. So they're wasting quite, quite a considerable piece of leather to make this pen loop, aren't they? But it's gorgeous. I think it's worth it. <laughs> So, which would you choose? If you had to choose a Medigate Leather or a Sheik Sparrow, what would appeal most to you? Let me know in the comments. I'd be interesting to hear that too. So, thank you very much for watching and I will be seeing you very soon. Bye.